Good morning, everyone. Good morning. Welcome to Church of the Ascension as we gather together here in the uh, worship space to celebrate this liturgy, joined by our, by our friends at home who are watching it on live stream. Today's uh, Mass is being offered for the repose of the soul of Bill Vernon. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Coming to get us God's family, let us acknowledge your sins and ask for God's love and mercy. Lord Jesus, you came to reconcile us to one another and to the Father. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you heal the wounds of sin and division. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you intercede for us with your Father. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us and forgive us our sins and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Let us pray. O oh God, who have prepared for those who love you good things which no eye can see, fill our hearts, we pray, with the warmth of your love, so that loving you in all things and above all things, we may attain your promises which surpass every human desire. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the book of the prophet Ezekiel. The word of the Lord came to me, son of man, prophesy against the shepherds of Israel. In these words, prophesy to them. Thus says the Lord God, Woe to the shepherds of Israel who have been pastoring themselves. Should not shepherds rather pasture sheep? You have fed off their milk, worn their wool, and slaughtered the fatlings. But the sheep you have not pastured. You did not strengthen the weak, nor heal the sick, nor bind up any of the injured. You did not bring back strayed, nor seek the lost but you lorded it over them harshly and brutally. So they were scattered for their lack of a shepherd and became food for all the wild beasts. My sheep were scattered and wandered over all the mountains and high hills. My sheep were scattered over the whole earth with no one to look after them or search for them. Therefore, shepherds, hear the word of the Lord. Because my sheep have been given over to pillage, and because my sheep have become food for every wild beast for lack of a shepherd, because my shepherds did not look after my sheep, but pastured themselves, and did not pasture my sheep, because of this, shepherds, hear the word of the Lord. Thus says the Lord God, I swear I am coming against these shepherds, I will claim my sheep from them and put a stop to their shepherding my sheep so that they may no longer pasture themselves. I will save my sheep that they may no longer be food for their mouths. For thus says the Lord God, I myself would look after and tend my sheep. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. The responsorial psalm, the Lord is my shepherd, there is nothing I shall want. The Lord, the Lord is, is my shepherd, shepherd. There, there is, is nothing, nothing I, I shall want. want. The Lord is my shepherd, I shall not want. In verdant pastures he gives me repose. By beside restful waters he leads me, he refreshes my soul. The Lord is my shepherd, there is nothing I shall want. He guides me in right paths for namesake. Even though I walk in the dark valley, I fear no evil, for you are at my side with your rod and your staff that give me courage. The Lord is my shepherd, there is nothing I shall want. You spread the table before me in the light of my foes. You anoint my head with oil, my cup overflows. 
Only goodness and kindness follow me all the days of my life, and I shall dwell in the house of the Lord for years to come. The Lord is my shepherd. Alleluia, alleluia. Alleluia, alleluia. The word of God is living and effective, able to discern the reflections and thoughts of the heart. Alleluia, alleluia. May Almighty God bless you in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, go and proclaim the good news. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. Glory to you, O Lord. Jesus told his disciples this parable. The kingdom of heaven is like a landowner who went out at dawn to hire laborers for the vineyard. After agreeing with them for the usual daily wage, he sent them into his vineyard. Going out about nine o'clock, he saw others standing idle in the marketplace, and he said to them, you too go into my vineyard, and I will give you what is just. So they went off. And he went out again around noon and around three o'clock and did likewise. Going out about five o'clock, he found others standing around and said to them, why do you stand here idle all day? They answered, because no one has hired us. He said to them, you too go into my vineyard. When it was evening, the owner of the vineyard said to his foreman, summon the laborers and give them their pay, beginning with the last and ending with the first. When those who had started about five o'clock came, each was received the usual daily wage. So when the first came, they thought they would receive more, but each of them got the usual wage. And on receiving it, they grumbled against the landowner, saying, These last ones only work just one hour, and you have made them equal to us, who, who bore the day's burden and the heat. He said to one of them in reply, My friend, I am not cheating you. Did you not agree with me for the usual daily wage? Take what is yours and go. What if I wish to give this last one the same as you? Am I not free to do as I wish with my own money? Are you envious because I am generous? Thus, the last will be first, and the first will be last. The Gospel of the Lord. Friends, this parable which we just heard reminds me this saying that more hours, more pay, and less hours, less pay. Jesus today gives us a very different approach and understanding that he knows us, and he wants each one of us to receive according to his will. But in our way of life, we see this is contrary to our expectations. Just put yourselves into your day-to-day -day life. Someone has asked you to work for nine hours, and you do, and then another one just come, just for four hours. And then when you come at the end, you receive the same pay. So what would have been your reaction? Why are you giving him or her the same amount for me? I've been here for nine hours and he or she has been for four hours. That's not just, that's not fair. So if you put into day-to-day -day life, you can say that was not fair. That Jesus is teaching us something very important to ponder in our lives. 
Look, those people, they were waiting to be hired. They didn't get a job. They didn't get anything to do except those four hours they were asked, and some even those two hours to work and earn something to share with their family members. For them, that was their only time to serve so that they can meet their needs. But the others, they complained because they saw that it was not just. God's ways are not uh, our ways. And God's thoughts are not our thoughts. And every time God reminds us that he is so merciful to all of us, in the eyes of God, we are sons and daughters of God. If we think in a calculation like mathematics, one times one is equal to this, in the eyes of God, that will not work. No matter who you are, and no matter where and when you have responded to God's call, God always embraces you and welcomes you. See, that time when Jesus was hanging on the cross with those two, uh, people, those who were really uh, thieves, they were committed. But each one was different. One said, if you are really God, why don't you help us so that we can be out of this situation? But the other one said, you, you don't even recognize that you and me, we have done something wrong. But he, he has done nothing. He's innocent. And at the end, he said, Lord, receive me when you enter into your kingdom. It has never been too late to experience God's love. It has never been too late to experience God's mercy. What, what we need is to embrace and to be ready to change and to say yes in the presence of Jesus. And for him, we are all sons and daughters of God. He knows us, and he loves us, and he embraces us, and he wants us to come to him. Take care, and remember, what you have, God wants you to share to your brothers and sisters, even for those who have been called for those two hours. Let them enjoy the love and mercy of God. Let them be part of your family of the kingdom of God. Amen. Amen. Please stand. Lord Jesus, we thank you for the gift of life and for the gift of mercy, which you remind us always that you are always ready to embrace our love. And for this, we pray. We acknowledge that sometimes you call us, and even we don't recognize your ways and your thoughts. Gives us courage always to come closer to you, and for this we pray. We pray for our brothers and sisters who are struggling in their lives in one way or another. Sometimes they find it so difficult maybe to come closer to you through our prayers and the intercession of our mother Mary, we pray for them, and for this we pray. Lord, we pray for our country, for peace and justice. We pray for the leaders so that they may continue always to recognize that every time they are called to save one another, and for this we pray. Lord, we ask thee through Christ our Lord. Heavenly Father, we praise and thank you for the past 50 years. Your grace and spirit have enabled our parish to proclaim the word, celebrate the Eucharist, and save our local community. In thanksgiving, we pray for all those parishioners who set the parish foundation and for all those who throughout the years have joined us in our mission, in our celebrations, or have sought our help. 
Please continue to pour out your Holy Spirit upon us so that we will always be missionary disciples who are joyful expressions of your Son within our parish and into our community. We boldly proclaim that Jesus is alive in our parish, welcoming the lost and leading us all to new life in him. We ask thee through Christ our Lord, who lives and reigns with you and the Holy Spirit as one God forever and ever. Amen. Please be seated. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness have received the bread we offer you, fruit of the earth and work of human hands, and become for us the bread of life. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness have received the wine we offer you, fruit of the vine and work of human hands, it will become our spiritual drink. Pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. Receive our oblation, O Lord, by which is brought about a glorious exchange, that by offering what you have given, we may merit to receive you of self. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. With Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is true, right, and just so, due to our salvation always and everywhere, to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God. For though you have no need of our praise, Yet our thanksgiving is itself your gift, since our praises add in nothing to your greatness, but profit us for salvation through Christ our Lord. And so in company with the choirs of angels, we praise you and with joy we proclaim. Amen. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy therefore these gifts, we pray, by sending down your spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and gave him thanks, broke it, and gave it to disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the choice, and once more gave him thanks, he gave it to disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the choice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. When we eat this bread and drink this cup, we proclaim your death, O Lord, until you come again. 
Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks to that we have heard us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, and Barry, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember your servant, Bill Vernon, whom you have called from this world to yourself. Grant that he who was united with your son in a death like his may also be one with him in his resurrection. Remember also, brothers and sisters, who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, and all have died on your mercy, welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, and Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, O glory and honor is yours forever and ever. At the Savior's command, informed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from Deliver us, Lord, we pray from evil, evil, gracious, grant peace in our days that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. The kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said it, you are apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and gracious grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us offer each other a sign of peace. Peace be with you. Thank you so much. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Bless are those called to the sup of the Lamb. My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the most holy sacrament. I love you above all things, and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you were already there, and unite myself wholly to you, 
Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen. That came down from heaven, says the Lord, whoever eats of this bread will live forever. Let us pray. Made partakers of Christ through these sacraments, we humbly employ you, mercy, Lord, that conformed to his image on earth, we may merit also to be his heirs in heaven, who lives and reigns forever and ever. On behalf of Deacon Tom, I want to say thank you for your prayers and for your participation. And also for those who are watching online, also thank you for your prayers and for your participation. The gospel today is very good to ponder in our journey of life. Most of the time we think me, me and my family, my friends. But Jesus today, he wants us to go out of the comfort zone to think deeply on others, trying to e embrace that we can share what we have. Even for that two hours God has called them, let's make use of them to enjoy the presence of God. 
do what God has given you, make use of your time, make use of your treasure, and make use of your gift. And in doing that, you can embrace a lot, not only for yourselves and your family, but for the kingdom of God. Amen. Amen. The Lord be with you. May Almighty God bless you in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Thanks.